Good morning, everybody. So it's 6 a.m. I guess July 23rd. Uh, I am tired today. Um, getting ready to leave to go to work. Sometimes I wonder why I'm going to work when I don't know what season it is. It's sometimes hard to keep going, guys. And I just I want to pray and ask that God would that Jesus Christ would continue to give us the strength to keep going in these final moments. I had a dream last night and I felt that uh, as much as I don't even want to film this right now, um, the Holy Spirit wants me to say this. It might bring somebody comfort. Sure, it sure brought me comfort. I didn't want to wake up. But um, I had a dream last night. And uh, I was at my old church and uh, I was trying to go in the building from the this other side of the building, and uh, I was going in the church, and everyone didn't want to be disturbed. I was going in, and they're like, "No, you got to go around the other way." And so I, I had to walk around the other side of the building to go in, and everyone in, was inside, you know, starting their you know, Sunday service. And um, as I was walking around the side of the building going in, there was all these. I was the only one outside. There was all these. Tornadoes I was watching come down all around, like, you know, 20 of them, you know, 50 of them all over the place. All these tornadoes off in the distance coming down with these, um, this light, this pink light or purple light coming down. Um, and some of the purple light was in the tornadoes and some of the purple light was outside of the tornadoes. But there's all these tornadoes going on and, um these big wind storms and uh the whole time i was thinking the you know in the dream i knew you know it was the rapture there was a rapture going on it's not like the rapture dream i've had before and um and then all these planes i was watching all these planes that were just coming out of the sky and crashing all over the place and um so there was a bunch of tornadoes there's these pink lights coming down, all these planes were crashing, and I was running around the building, and I went in the front door, and I was looking for my dad. My brother and my dad were in the church, and I was, I went in the front door, and I was still being all quiet, because everyone, you know, you gotta be quiet when you walk in, they're having their service, and, and I went in, I was trying to find my dad, and I couldn't find him, and I walked in, and for some reason, my dad was on the stage and he was talking about something. I don't don't even know what he was talking about. I just started yelling into the church. Quickly come outside. There's all these things happening. You know, I was yelling, you know, tornadoes, planes are coming down. Lights are, you know, these rays of purple light. And I was like yelling about everything going on outside. And everyone, I was like, Jesus is coming. Jesus is here. The rapture is happening. Everyone in the church was giving me dirty looks. Everyone in the church wasn't listening. They didn't care. And my brother and my dad ran out with me. And the events at that point had slowed down to where it stopped, to where it looked like I was crazy. And then people in the church came out. And it looked like nothing was happening. And then I was like, we've got to, we've got to go, and then people started leaving the church, everyone started hopping in their cars, and they were driving away, and the service, you know, didn't happen, and, but the, there was like, it was like the church didn't want to listen to what I was saying, and then when they finally came out, it looked like everything was fine. I ended up waking up, and it's different than other rapture dreams. I've had a dream where I had woken up and there was chaos. This was years ago, and I've had this dream uh, many times, probably like four, maybe even five different times over the years, sometimes year, you know, years apart. And I was at my old house up a dirt road, and there was a bunch of chaos and rioting, and these large groups of people running up the mountain road where I used to live up this canyon and 
there was this light show happening in the sky where there was these triangle triangular shapes of lights red triangle lights in the sky all these lights all these red dots showing up in the sky and it was you know in that dream i was aware that you know oh, these are all ufos which we know about the ufo deception fallen angel agenda you know to cover up where we all go and so in the dream i was seeing all these lights there was some kind of you know invasion and people were panicking and I remember in the dream, I and sometimes the dream is, it adds on more to it, you know, where there's more survival or more um, trying to figure out um, how to, you know, escape what's coming. And so there's all these lights coming down, people panicking, running up the road, it's nighttime. And I grab, at this time, it's only my two other brothers and my mother, my dad's not in this dream. And then I see the fire coming over the mountains and fireballs start to come down and I, and I grab my mom and my brother and I say, the rapture's coming, Jesus is coming. And I grab them all and say, it's okay, everything's going to be okay, Jesus is coming. And I'm watching, you know, the, all these lights coming down and people are running and fireballs are coming down and there's fire coming over the mountains and... The whole time I'm at peace and I'm just saying, it's okay, Jesus is coming, the rapture's happening, and then I wake up. And um, those are the really the only two dreams I've had. Um, that one is a really, that's a reoccurring one. But, um, so I just thought I would share that this morning. Um, right now I'm still waking up, I'm half asleep, I'm not even... It's pretty hard for me to even get going today. I got my cup of coffee, and I don't think it's really going to do much. But uh, I know that Jesus, Jesus is going to give me the strength. I've already asked Him, and uh, I'm thanking Him in advance for giving me the energy for the day. But uh, so these are my my two two rapture dreams that I've had. And this this one last night was pretty nice. It was. It's always nice to have a dream where you're aware that. Uh, of the rapture it's always nice to be in a dream you know dreaming about the rapture and you know being taken home and seeing destruction I'm always like ah oh, it's just it'd be great if this is going on right now you know and then you wake up you're like ah oh, well we're still here and uh, but very soon um, I believe sooner than most think um, Jesus is going to come and he's going to call us home and um, we're going to meet him in the air. The dead in Christ will rise, and those who are alive and remain in him, and the twinkling of an eye will be changed and caught up, and, and we will be be with him forever. And um, obviously we can see everything going on in the world right now, and everyone's all caught up in this, you know, this fake event that happened. You know, Trump wasn't even shot, and this whole stage thing. This is all to bring in the Antichrist right now. What's about to happen? There's not going to be an election. All these things going on right now. There's not going to be any peace. Um, there's going to be some kind of shift in power possibly before November. But you know what? <coughs> there's not going to be. Uh, there's not going to be an election. I don't believe. You know, even doesn't matter if Trump or anyone else was in because you know Trump is not the savior. Everyone's looking to a man to save the day and. And they're all going to be thrown off guard. It's going to be like a thief in the night to so many people thinking that, oh, things are finally going to go in, you know, absolute destruction is going to hit. And through that chaos of the destruction and the disappearance of people and the, and the rapture cover up, they will unite under a new world order. Um, and the world will be united globally through some kind of figure that comes on the scene, Antichrist, whether he's half human, half fallen angel hybrid or whatever it could be. You know, I don't. I believe Trump is the Antichrist. I don't believe so, not at all. Um, there was a brother, uh, Chris, at Global Watchman Rapture, who kind of said something that really stuck to me pretty good, that, you know, the Antichrist is going to be younger. You know, he's not going to be older. He'd probably be exactly, you know, the age of Jesus, 30, 33. And, uh, you know, whether he's a hybrid, half-fallen angel, half-human, or whether he's younger man I, I believe very shortly it'll be it'll be obvious to those people left behind who who is that false savior um so guys i love you jesus loves you more we're going home soon i pray that christ gives us all strength and boldness to speak for him today um
Bye.